guys, I'm back from the cruise. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so much fun. I have another video that I made when I was on the ship. And now we're back to uh, my house. And I'm ready to take you on a crochet cruise. Take you on a crochet cruise. So the first thing we got was this lanyard the words are backwards I got it upside down let's try it this way yay I'm hoping that comes out right anyway then I got a tag that says Beverly hi guys I'm back from my cruise let me show you what I got Okay, so I got to show you all the stuff I got. Let's see. So, we got some Susan Biggs hooks. Susan Biggs hooks, they have these little plastic handles up to a size K. Soft ergonomic. So, we've got four, we've got eight crochet hooks. Who knows, maybe these will be in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Ooh, that would be so cool. <laughs> then we got some Susan Bates darning needles. Hope you can see them. And it says that they are... Oh, it's got one of those bent ones. I've been wanting one of those bent ones, you know? You guys know what they're called. Oh, there's two bent ones. What do they call those? Just says value pack needles. But I've been wanting one of those, you know. Okay, then we got an extra um, lanyard. And it says yarnspirations.com. Isn't that cool? And then we got a Tunisian crochet hook in size 8. US eight five millimeter and so there is a Tunisian crochet hook so that's some of my goodies then there's a tape measure just in the stitch of time yarn inspirations I'm so thankful for this because I had one that the little tabby thing broke off so now I think I have two tape measures so that's good then we've got some pins, and this one is a Jimmy Bean. Hopefully you guys can see this. Very cool. I think I might have two of these, so this might be in the thousand giveaway. Okay, now we, there was a sock knitting class, and I went to the class because I had problems with my heel always having a hole on one side. And I found out from the teacher that I'm not pulling my tinch on my yarn tight enough. You know, I'm, I'm doing it a little loose. The rest of the stitches are all, all even, but somehow when I start that heel or when I get to the end of the heel, um, I'm not pulling my yarn as tight as I should because it just, you know, the loop is there, but it's just bigger than it should be. So that's what I learned. And in the class, they gave us a choice of color. And this is the Peyton's Croy sock yarn. And this is in the colorway. She asked if somebody wanted blue. So this is 50 stripes is what they're calling it. But it does have a kind of a blue, blue greenish cast to it. Okay, so we got that sock yarn. Then we got some unforgettable. And I hope you guys can see the colors through the bags because I hate opening it until I'm ready to use it. But it's a blue-green color. See, you can kind of see it. It's a blue-green color. And um, that sock weight, of course, you guys know sock weight, I think it's 50, 50 grams, and it's a number one. The Unforgettable, I'm sure you guys know, this color is Dragonfly. And it is is recommending a J hook for this cowl but let's see what it is it's a number four and 
It is machine wash, machine dry. It's got to be 100% acrylic, don't you think? 100% acrylic, and it's in this bluish green color, so hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, Red Heart Unforgettable. Okay, now, do you guys see that on the bed? See, on my video, it's, I'm pointing. See on my video? Oh, that isn't working. But anyway, there. There it is, you guys. Okay. Okay, there you guys, look. There's the three colors I got. The one on the far left is Walnut. The one in the middle is I Don't Know. And the one on the right is I don't know so we're gonna check them out but I wanted to see you show you how many I got so the each pack has two so I went kind of crazy on the walnut <laughs> and then the two I don't knows are not too bad but what this is I'm gonna describe right now okay what is it guess what it is it's for Bernat forever fleece and on their website, I believe, this is going for $11.99. And you saw how many I got. A skein. If you can get it on sale, great. What this is, is it's a 9.9 .9 ounce skein of a number 6, 100% polyester. And this color is called Sage. Sage. And so I have two, four, six, eight in the sage color. Now there's a pattern on this fleece that I'm going to be making and I'll link it below. And because I'm in Florida and it's a heavy one, it has um, some open crochet, it has some rows of solid and then some open. And I think that would work good. But this is the softest stuff. I swear, you guys. 100% polyester, number six. Bernat Forever Fleece. In the color sage. Okay. The next one, I have four of these. This is a number six as well. 100% polyester. And this is called T tree and what I thought I would do is make one of those blankets because the pattern is on every one of these forever fleeces and I thought I'd make a blanket alternating this with either the walnut or the sage I'm not sure probably the sage but it's just so squishy so beautiful a lady started this blanket that's on this pattern that I'm going to link below and I touched it. Oh my gosh, I just fell in love. So what happened was, we got our yarn, and you could trade. So I traded people. That's how I ended up with these. Because how, how it worked out was you got just two packages um, of any color. Any of the three colors. And then I traded the rest of the stuff. So what kind of stuff did I trade? Well, I traded some Karen Simply Soft. I didn't really, you know, I don't really like Karen Simply Soft because it's too slick. And they had um, the lime green, then they had like a spruce, and they had yellow and pink and purple and stuff like that. And lemonade. Lemonade was pretty of Karen Simply Soft. Then they had, they had some roll with it. They had some roll with it sparkle. And um, then what else did I trade for? Oh, they had some Peyton's Grace. And that's a cotton yarn. I don't know if it has polyester with it or not. And then they had some kitchen co cotton, which I have this great big tub of kitchen cotton. So I traded and I would get fleece every time. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I ended up with so many of them. And then again, this color is walnut. And it, it's a number six walnut. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the video and show you the next lot. There's the next lot, guys. Ogos and roll with it. Okay, let's see what this is. Red Heart. 
Okay, guys, let's see what we got this. Okay, with this, um, red heart roll with it. But this doesn't have any of the sparkle. This is Magula. Magula. You guys know how I can't always pronounce things, so that's what it is. But the colorway is Cat Walk is the color. It is a number four. It is 100% acrylic. So let's see if you guys can see it. It's got a little orange in it. It's got a little bit of green. And it's got some blues and purples and rose color in it. And each one of these skeins is five ounces, five and a half ounces, 150 grams, 100% acrylic. And I just thought this was so pretty. And I liked it much better than the sparkles. Now this one is also a uh, roll with it. Number four, 100% acrylic, five and a half ounces, and the colorway is catwalk. They're both catwalk. Well, they're just wound different because if you look at this one, this has got more blues and purple. So that's good, but isn't it amazing how it's wound different? See the orange coming out? I hope you guys can see. Okay. Okay, guys, these are the Ogles. <laughs> so I got three of this Ogle. So this, so actually there's nine Ogles in this color. Five, each one is five ounces. And what's the color in this one? This one is Jewel Tones. 100% acrylic, 236 yards. And that's a beautiful granny square blanket on there, you guys. So that might be a, a good project for this. So basically, this is your number four. And Super Saver. And I like working with this, you guys. And I saw that when I was on the cruise, I think the smaller ones. Let me see how many ounces different. I had to go to Walmart today. So they had the smaller one. So the smaller one, I guess last week was 50 cents. And this week I got this on clearance for 250. But anyway, how many ounces? So this has the same amount of ounces? Really? I thought this was smaller than this, but I guess it isn't. It is the same size. So this has five ounces of yarn on I thought that was pretty cool for two dollars and fifty cents and some of you guys got it for fifty so this one ah, this one is rainbow rainbow and this one again I said was jewel tone and it's the same size as the ones that were on sale or on clearance at Walmart okay I didn't know that Okay, then the next color I got was these grays, because I use gray a lot. So I got three Ogos here, and the color is dusty gray, and I like that. And five ounces. Um, no, seven. The solid colored ones are seven ounces. Okay, just saying. Number four weight, and there's a hole in this bag, and it feels soft. Feels really soft. Okay, now then I got this baby pink, this, this baby color. Aren't those pretty? Let's see what this is called. Baby rainbow. <laughs> and so these are five ounces. So the solids are seven and the colors are five. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Here we go. And then uh, the last one, I got a set of three Ogos in the color Peacock. Peacock. 
See, there's the colors. And, I'm, and I started a corner to corner in the round. And see, you know, I didn't sew in my end yet. And I've got four different colors. I did two rows of each color. But this is in the round. And there's YouTube videos that show you how to do this corner to corner in the round. But I thought I found it pretty easy. This is what they call the nubby on the cruise. You have to, you start with your nubby, you go all the way around the square, and you join with your num nubby. That's how that is. And then I'll pull one of these out since it's already, um, bag is already open. And see here is, let me see what color it is. So I gotta turn it. Peacock, that's right, this is peacock. And this has five ounces in it. So, but this corner to corner in the round, I like it. I think it's cool. It's cool. And I caught on to it really easy. I don't know if it was the ladies' uh, directions. Because you, know, I like to read directions. But I also do watch videos, too. But she had it printed out. And she was there if we had questions. And I just kind of fell right into it. Okay, now I've got some more content for another video. Uh, I finished my homework blanket. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy with it. I want to show you that. Then on the ship, I made a market bag. And it's a crochet crowd pattern. So I want to show you that. And then I want to show you uh, some of the patterns that were um, highlighted. I guess is the right word on the cruise and they're all of course your inspiration patterns your inspirations sponsored the cruise gave us the knickknacks you know the little um, tape measure the yarn of course it's all your inspirations yarn and you guys know I'm happy with this kind of yarn I I really am so I feel like I got my money's worth it I oh you guys um I talked to Mikey himself and Tiva Dan. I talked to Dan too. And um, I mentioned to Mikey that I had my own YouTube channel and he watched it. Can you believe Mikey from the Crochet Crowd watched one or more of my videos? I'm so happy. And I asked him if he had any suggestions and he said no. I was on the right track. Oh my God. Mikey. <laughs> I know I'm being silly, you guys. I hope you love me that way. <laughs> oh, this is my one of my shirts I bought on the crow on the crow on the cruise. It says you float my boat. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna let you go now. And I've got oh probably one more video that I need to do that will uh kind of wrap up the cruise. But I'm you know, tell your friends. And the people that watch but don't just subscribe, please subscribe. It, now, if you, you know, never did before, uh, think about it. Please do it now because I'm almost up to a 1,000 subscribers. I love my subscribers. I love my newbies. Bye, you guys. Love you. Bye.